Hi everyone, welcome back to my class. Students, in the previous session, you all have understood the different parts of the flower and how does the sexual reproduction takes place in a flower. So, in this session, now you will understand the complete reproduction cycle in a plant. If the reproduction cycle has to be taken place, so we are talking here about the sexual reproduction. If the sexual reproduction has to be taken place in the plant, there are certain steps. So, through these steps what happen, the complete reproduction takes place in the plant. Let us understand these steps in detail. So, in this session, I am going to teach you the two steps. One is the pollination and another one is the fertilization. And the other two steps will be taught you in the next video. Clear? So, now let us understand the different steps which takes place during the reproduction cycle. So, the first step is the pollination, second step is the fertilization, third step will be the seed formation and fourth step is the germination. So, these are the four steps which involves in the reproduction cycle in the plant. So, in this session as I told you that we are going to learn about first two steps that is the pollination and fertilization. So, let us begin with the first step that is pollination. So, when I say pollination, See, the word pollination itself, it contains pollen. You know what is pollen, right? In the previous session, you all have understood. Pollen and rain on the name It is the male gamete. Pollen is the male gamete. Where do the male gamete present? It is present in the anther, right? The pollen grains are present in the anther of the plant. So, when I say pollination, it means the transfer of pollen grains. It is the process where the pollen grains get transferred from the anther of the flower to the stigma of the flower. See, if you observe the flower here, you can observe the two different reproductive organs. One is the male reproductive organ and another one is the female reproductive organ which is present in the flower. So, during the process of pollination, the pollen grains here, it is present in the anther. The pollen grains from the anther they get transferred to the stigma of the flower, which is the female reproductive organ of the flower. Clear? So, the transfer of pollen grains from the anther to the stigma, we call it as pollination. Students, we all know that for the sexual reproduction to happen, the pollen grains should meet the egg. Why? It is because the pollen grains are the male gametes. That means they are the male sex cells. And the ovules which are also called as eggs, they are the female gametes. Female gametes means they are the female sex cells. So, if the fusion between the male and the female has to taken place, then, then pollen has to reach the stigma. So, this transfer of pollen from the anther to stigma, we call it as pollination. In the pollen grains, anther on the pollen grains, Stigma na liru on the ovule na reach akhtide. Reach akhi yen akhtide, fuse akhtide. They both are combining. So, when does it happen? It happens during the pollination. So, as you all have understood, the pollen reaches the stigma. This pollen reaches the stigma in two different ways. Yerdu riti yalli idu, stigma na reach akhtide. So, the two different ways are one is the self-pollination and another one is the cross-pollination. So then, what is meant by self-pollination? When I say self-pollination, the pollen grains which is present in this flower, where is pollen grains? The pollen grains which is present in the anther of this flower will move to the stigma of the same flower. I repeat, pollen grains present in the anther of this flower will transfer to the stigma of the same flower then we call such type of pollination as self-pollination because transfer of pollen grains is seen in the same flower. The pollen grains are transferred from the anther to stigma in the same flower. So, we call this type of pollination as self-pollination. So, now let us understand the second way how the pollen grains get transferred to stigma. The second way is the cross-pollination. When we say cross-pollination, the pollen grains present in the anther of this flower, they get transferred to the stigma of another flower. See, 
the pollen grains which is present in the anther of this flower it is getting transferred to the another flower here what is happening there is transfer of pollen grains between one flower to another flower so this type of pollination we call it as cross pollination so under cross pollination what happens transfer of pollen grains between one flower to another flower takes place when i say self pollination the pollination happens within the flower within the same flower when i say cross pollination the pollination happens between two flowers clear so and also you have to remember when i say self pollination this self pollination is taking place only in the bisexual flower because as i told you that when i say self pollination transfer of pollen grains will takes place from the anther to stigma if the pollen grains has to transfer to the stigma then there should be presence of two different reproductive organs the one is the male reproductive organ and another one is the female reproductive organ if the male and the female reproductive organ if both the organs are present in the same flower we call such flowers as the bisexual flowers you know this right so self pollination is seen only in the bisexual flowers so what about cross pollination cross pollination i el nodabodu so we can see the cross pollination in both the unisexual and the bisexual flowers because see in unisexual flowers we can see only the male gamete or the female gamete ondu male gamete irutte athwa female gamete irutte see male gamete has to fuse with the female gamete then only reproduction will takes place so in unisexual flowers cross pollination takes place sometimes this cross pollination is also seen in the bisexual flowers yavaga andre see when stigma and anthers are not matured at the same time on the flower alli iruvanta stigma that means the female reproductive part and the male reproductive part id eradu kuda at a time mature aagilla antandre so during that time we can see that there is possibilities of cross pollination so that what happen the anther of this flower get transferred to the stigma of another flower so that what happened the cross pollination takes place this happens very rarely probably when both the male and the female reproductive organs are not matured at the same time clear i hope you all have understood what is pollination what is self pollination and what is cross pollination and till now you all were hearing the transfer of pollen grains takes place from anther to stigma anther il irunta ond pollen grains stigma ge transfer agutte anta telkondidre so how does this happen how does the pollen grains get transfer from the anther to stigma who is helping to transfer see this happens this transfer of pollen grains from anther to stigma it takes place with the help of some of the pollinating agents what are pollinating agents see the agents which transfers the pollen grains the agents which carry or which transfer the pollen grains from the anther to stigma we call such agents as pollinating agents see some of the examples for the pollinating agents are wind water insects birds ee ellanu kuda en madutte pollen grains na anther in the stigma ge transfer agodike help madutte for example you might have seen the insects sitting on the flower so insects flower mele kutaga enagutte a insects body ge enagutte the pollen grains they get attached the pollen grains they get attached to the body of the insects and when this insect when it sits on the another flower what happen the pollen grains which get attached to their body they get transferred to the stigma of the another flower or maybe sometimes on the same flower so this is how the insect help in transferring the pollen grains from anther to stigma clear so and when the wind blows also the pollen grains transfers so the water also helps to transfer the pollen grain so these are some of the agents pollinating agents which are helping to transfer the pollen grains from the anther to the stigma so iga enaitu the pollen grains reaches the stigma finally through the pollination so now the question is what happens next anther inda enaitu pollen grains stigma ge reach aitu what happens next okay let us understand 
what exactly happens in the next step by looking into this diagram as we came to know that the stigma receives the pollen grains correct so what are these pollen grains they are the male gametes so these male gametes which is called as pollen grains they get transferred through the pollen tube if you look at this diagram you can observe a pollen tube it is connected to the stigma correct so the pollen grains from the stigma they get transferred they get carried through the pollen tube and it reaches the ovary so now what do ovary contain they contain the female gametes which are also called as eggs so as the pollen it fuses with the egg the pollen which get transferred through the pollen tube it reaches to the ovary ovary na leni de there is eggs so the the male gamete it reaches the female gamete as a result of this what happened the fertilization takes place you have observed the fusion of male and female gamete here correct the male gamete from the pollen tube they get transferred to the ovary where the female gamete is present as a result of this fusion the fertilization takes place fertilization is a result of the fusion of male and female gamete artha aagidala male gamete female gamete jothe join aadaga aguvanta aa process anna naavu fertilization anta karithivi clear so as a result of this fertilization there is formation of zygote hosa word idu what is zygote zygote is a single celled organism fertilization aadaga yen form agutte there is a formation of zygote see as a result of fusion of male and female gamete fertilization took place correct as a result of fertilization the zygote is formed and one more important thing which you all have to understand when i say pollen grain nan pollen grain anta heldaga a pollen grain contain two male gametes yes two male gamete irutte two male gamete andre two male sex cells irutte at the time of fusion fusion aagbekadre enagutte one male gamete fuses with the female gamete and it will form the zygote fertilization aagbekadre one male gamete innondu female gamete jothe fuse agutte then what about another male gamete erdu male gamete ide alva so adralli one fuse aagi zygote form aitu what about another male gamete see another male gamete it also reaches the ovary whereas it fuses with the secondary nuclei ನೀವು ಈ ಡಯಾಗ್ರಾಮ್ನ ಅಬ್ಸರ್ವ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ರೆ ನೀವು ನ್ಯೂಕ್ಲಿಯಾಯ್ನ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಅಬ್ಸರ್ವ್ ಮಾಡ್ಬೋದು ಸೊ ಒಂದು ಮೇಲ್ ಗ್ಯಾಮೆಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಫ್ಯೂಸಿಂಗ್ ವಿತ್ ದ ಫೀಮೇಲ್ ಗ್ಯಾಮೆಟ್ ಟು ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ದ ಝೈಗೋಟ್ ವೆರ್ ಆಸ್ ಅನದರ್ ಮೇಲ್ ಗ್ಯಾಮೆಟ್ ಇಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಇಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಫ್ಯೂಸ್ ವಿತ್ ದ ಸೆಕೆಂಡರಿ ನ್ಯೂಕ್ಲಿಯಾಯ್ ಯಾಕೆ ಸೆಕೆಂಡರಿ ನ್ಯೂಕ್ಲಿಯಾಯ್ ಜೊತೆ ಫ್ಯೂಸ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಅಂದರೆ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಇಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ದ ಎಂಡೋಸ್ಪರ್ಮ್ ಇಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ದ ಎಂಡೋಸ್ಪರ್ಮ್ ಎಂಡೋಸ್ಪರ್ಮ್ ಅಂದ್ರೂ ನ್ಯೂ ವರ್ಡ್ ಸೊ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಮೀನ್ ಬೈ ಎಂಡೋಸ್ಪರ್ಮ್ ದೆನ್ ಸಿ ಎಂಡೋಸ್ಪರ್ಮ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಫುಡ್ ಸ್ಟೋರೇಜ್ for the zygote iga zygote anadu ond baby reeti ee zygote develop aagbeku andre it need the food right so that food is the endosperm that food is the endosperm and this endosperm is formed due to the fusion of the male gamete along with the secondary nuclei clear so the zygote it get the food from the endosperm because it has to survive it has to develop zygote develop aagbeku adu doddu daagbeku antandre so it need the food so that food is been received by the endosperm clear so in this session you have learned about pollination self pollination cross pollination and fertilization how can we define pollination pollination is a process where the transfer of pollen grains from the anther to stigma takes place correct so self pollination andre enagutte the pollen grains from the anther will transfer to the stigma of the same flower one day flower alli pollen grains stigma jothe transfer aagtide andre that is self pollination what is meant by cross pollination the pollen grains from the anther of one flower they get transferred to the stigma of the another flower so here the pollen grains are getting transferred to the stigma of the another flower clear so hence we call this process as cross pollination finally you have understood about the fertilization what is meant by fertilization it is the fusion of the male and female gamete when the male gamete fuses with the female gamete we call that process as fertilization 
so as a result of fertilization yen form agutte there is a formation of zygote zygote andre eno it is a single celled organism so for the development of zygote endosperm is required endosperm is the food correct it is formed when a male gamete fuses with the secondary nuclei clear i hope you all have clearly understood about the concept which i have taught to you in this session in the next session let us continue to understand two more important steps which takes place during the reproduction cycle in the plant that's all for this session i'm signing off thank you